Hello everyone and a very warm welcome indeed to another episode of One Man and His Boat. For those of you that are new to the channel, I'm your host Barry and this gorgeous lady behind me is a brand new GM21, the Lindsay B. Now we're trying to get this little lady fishing for the hopefully summertime, but every time I say a date it keeps getting put back. Uh, but welder prep, yes guys! Uh, it's getting exciting now, the welder's uh, booked in and he can't arrive until the beginning of April, it's now the only the 2nd of March, so we've got a good bit of time to do all the welder preparation. Now what do we have to do? There's lots to be done. We've got the feet to do for the handrails, we've got the mask to make for the lights etc, we've got the nose cone to make, we've got uh, scupper covers, lots to be done, lots to be done. And obviously I can only fit it in a 10 minute episode. <laughs> So bear with us guys, and also, I'm having a little technical issue with my camera, so it might chop and change between my actual working camera and my GoPro cameras, so if the quality differs, I do apologise in advance guys. Right, I'm going to keep quiet now, I'm going to get a quick run through of where I'm up to, because you've missed a little bit since our last episode, so I'll give you a quick run around the boat and show you what I've done, and then we'll get on with what I'm supposed to be doing in this episode. Right guys, as you can see behind me, we've got the console about 90% done. We've still got two or three titivation bits to do. I'll give you a quick run through what we've all done. <coughs> uh, obviously, you can see we've got the hydraulic clutch in and out complete. The emergency stop is in and the diesel breathers are in. Now, this wee compartment here is for the fire extinguisher. And we have our inside of our control panel. Now this is still to be a uh, top coated and then there'll be a lid to keep everything nice and dry. For all the you oh, for all that was for all the you people who thought, how are you gonna keep that dry, Barry? Hello, you're commenting on something that's not finished yet. Come on guys, you know me better than that by now, surely. Anyway, down here, that's your lid for your control panel, which goes on the outside of here. And that little lady over there is for this section. Now, I've ordered marine grade uh, plexiglass or acrylic, I think it is, and we're waiting on that arriving before I can actually finish it complete. But it's there. Oh, and I've, the button as well, I had a little doo doo with the button. Uh, these fittings here didn't exactly go all the way through, so I had to improvise, adapt, and overcome once again. And also, if you come down, I don't know if you can see, it's a bit dark, we've got a lovely shelf for putting my bands in. Yes, I know it looks like a sea wires, but we had a little mishap with that as well, with the fit fittings. The wiring's all done incorrect, however, the fittings for keeping everything up and tidy has all come away. So, I've ordered something else that's going to do the job. <laughs> right, also guys, welder prep. Right, we're going on to welder prep. Uh, you can see green tape here, two sides. Now each green tape is exactly in the middle of each rib, so it should look equal all the way down the boat for the handrails. And it will get connected up into the console somewhere in there. So yeah, that's that bit. Right, in fact I want to show you the wee, the wee footing I've got. 
The foot itself is a uh, obviously five millimeter thick stainless steel, and we have got eight millimeter, one hundred millimeter bolts to go on right through, and obviously they're Allen keyed and they're rounded so it doesn't catch anything. So yeah, perfect. But I was in touch with the welder last night and he says don't do any more than what you've done there but you can drill the feet. So I'm not going to drill into the gunnel but I'm going to be able to actually get the bases of the feet done so that's what we're going to get on with next guys. Right guys, these are the beauties that we need to get through and we need to uh, drill the holes correctly all in the same place. I would do that by using my little jig that I've made. Isn't that pretty? Oh. So I'm definitely going to shut up this time and let's get on with it because I want to get on with this metal work's my favourite bit. I like metal work. Right, I just wish I could TIG weld though. TIG welding seems to be my, oh, I just can't get it at all. <laughs> right, let's get on, shall we?
Right guys, unfortunately we've come to the end of this week's episode. Oh, what a shame. <laughs> but you can look forward to next week's episode where we're going to be getting on with this part of the, the build. We are going to be making partnering out and making the stainless steel fitments to go where the pots are coming up. Uh, and we're going to get the stripping done for the outside all before the welder comes. Yes, it's all prep. Once again, it kind of ties in, but uh, it is what it is. Also, we've had a few requests for merch. As you can see, we're thinking about it. You see that, guys? You see that? As you can see, we're thinking about it. It's always been in the plan, but however, I need kind of money first. And obviously, sitting in a shed, fishing boat doesn't make money sitting in a shed. I need to get out there to earn money, to buy the merch, to pass it on to you guys. But you can also help the channel. What you can do by helping the channel is by giving it a thumbs up, by comment below, by subscribing, and tick that notification bell, and YouTube will make you feel very special indeed. See what I've done there, guys? <laughs> right, until your next week's vlog, guys, all the very best, my friends.